343 already knew that going free to play for Halo was going to be a major issue with the community. And they talked about this recently, but they left out one key part that other battle passes from other games are doing that 343 hasn't said anything about, and that's giving in-game currency. And in this video, we'll discuss why it will completely change the discussion of microtransactions in Halo Infinite. You want to know why? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving you another discussion about some Halo news and information that's been going around recently. Now, I'm sure many of us know that 343 recently held a end of the year live stream providing a ton of information which we did cover on this video right here detailing everything you need to know from that live stream which was like three and a half hours long. But there was one key aspect that they didn't mention at all throughout this entire three and a half hour live stream and I believe this one aspect that's not in the game right now that's in every other like free to play battle pass microtransaction shooter out there would completely change the culture and also the microtransaction system of Halo Infinite. That is giving players in-game currency. Giving players free money, one, would help incentivize them to keep playing, two, to actually experience purchasing things, three, actually be able to get some more customization as well, and four, probably give 343 better data on what kind of stuff that they need to create when it comes to co purchase content. But why would that happen? Well, let's get into the video here, guys. So if you like these kind of discussion videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to update with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe to the channel and let's get right into the content here. So like I said, just give players in-game currency. Give us free money. Now, at a first glance, that might sound kind of absurd, like why would a free-to-play game give people free money? Well, that's because your playtime in that game is actually huge and crucial for the game's success. Game companies always utilize player retention, player numbers, minutes played, hours played, whatever kind of metrics they like to use to showcase that there is an audience there for this game and why some more funding would be needed to accomplish whatever kind of projects they want to move forward with. It's essentially like basic economics, right? Where just like you need to showcase that there's an audience that has this need that we can create. We just need the money for it. Now, it's not unheard of to give players free money for playing your game. Call of Duty lets you earn COD points if you buy into the Battle Pass system. Fortnite does a very similar thing as well. They even say directly on your website, get 1500 V bucks back versus get the battle pass for only 950 v bucks and earn 1500 v bucks by playing and you can use them for the next battle pass or items within the shop and from what i've checked last time fortnite's not having any issues with revenue but you can see how call of duty and fortnite have incentives to keep players playing to give them free money they can utilize that in-game currency to buy items within the store and allowing players to purchase things within the store will give them that experience of buying into the battle pass buying items in the store because the hardest thing about this kind of new system that we have for halo infinite is that it's getting people's foot within the door of that experience and 343 already knew that this process of going free to play was going to be a major issue within the community as previously you just earned everything that was in the box and 343 stated this in the last update um, one of the biggest challenges that we knew that we would have, and no matter what we did, we were going to have this, which is changing Halo 20 years of box product models to a free-to-play model is not something that is going to be inherently satisfying for most of our players. So yeah, 343 knew that this was going to be like a major issue. Like they expected a little bit of pushback from the community because it's not what we've had traditionally through Halo, but Halo fits like your traditional Halo game. That's kind of the reason why like Microsoft doesn't sell their consoles for a profit because the hardest part is to get people to buy that console once you get them inside that ecosystem and experiencing the product that they have to offer people are more willing to spend money and i feel like the same can be applied to the store and microtransactions system within halo infinite because i'm sure there's plenty of people out there just crossing their arms frowned down just being like i'm not buying a single microtransaction 20 years ago i got the game like this but if you give them some free money through in-game currency, keep them within that ecosystem, get to have, give them a free chance to experience that. And then so when they go, oh, you actually might not even feel that bad to actually purchase something within the game, they might be more inclined to buy something in the future.
Okay, so now you get free money for playing the game, but how is that free money delivered? Well, I think the perfect spot to do that would be in the Battle Pass. As the Battle Pass is fundamentally designed to keep you playing for an extended period of time, keep you coming back to the game. And what a better way to incentivize players to keep playing your game by giving them some in-game currency, just like a little tip, like, oh, here you go. Now, how much should you earn? I think, honestly, just like enough to buy another Battle Pass. I think that's rather fair. Of course, you should be able to use that money however you like. If you just want to actually buy the battle pass and then use like your in-game currency that you earn in the store, that's totally fair. Though this kind of ties into the next point coming in about the battle pass, but we'll get into that later. By like, giving players enough money to purchase a free battle pass essentially by playing the game kind of creates this endless cycle of buying into the battle pass, getting your money back, buying the next battle pass and so then you keep playing because you want to keep earning that content as if the battle pass has some good value right there essentially just make it so once you reach like tier 100 you get your 10 bucks in, in game currency to be able to buy the next pass this again will incentivize people to keep returning to the game because money is a big driving factor within the u.s audience especially and Hadel's audience is majority u.s based so i think it would be a really great thing to kind of really incentivize people to keep playing. Because like I said earlier, those metrics and analytics of showcasing how many people are playing your game is absolutely huge. And we do know that 343 wants to value your time, especially since that Halo is kind of coming from the ground back up and to the mainstream when it comes to shooters out there, that you kind of need to offer maybe a little bit more than what your competition's offering because they already have like a steady audience that's like really not going anywhere, like Call of Duty, Fortnite, Apex Legends. They got their audience. They kind of know where their game's going to be performing. Halo Infinite, we're in like this really big upswing. We want to try to keep that momentum going and just help really hit like a really solid plateau. Of course, there are other ways that 3 for 3 could find some unique ways for players to earn some free in-game currency as well. Maybe like through challenges or doing some kind of other activity within the game. That would totally make sense as well. Maybe even put it into like the campaign in some capacity. That feels a little dirty because it incentivize people to buy into the campaign, which if you're enjoying Halo Infinite's multiplayer, you really should buy the campaign because the campaign is amazing. Which I believe kind of ties into our third point is having better battle pass content. Uh, what we have right now is okay, uh, but I feel like there's a lot of opportunities for growth and improvement here. Because the general idea that we received from 343 was that the battle pass was going to be like the main way you unlock content and get some new customization to kind of showcase your character since customization is such a huge part of Halo Infinite and like the way the game is going to be ran by microtransactions is through customization. I'm currently level 76 right now within the battle pass of time recording this and this is what my Mark 7 Spartan looks like. I even actually kind of fibbed a little bit because this is actually an attachment I haven't unlocked on the helmet. This is like coding that I got within the campaign. I unlocked the shoulders through the battle pass but like everything else looks pretty much standard. Now this is my reach armor core. Now this definitely does look a little bit more customized than the Mark 7 because like you know the battle pass is themed after Halo Reach, but I've certainly come across a lot of people with this similar setup that I have right here, even down to the color, which certainly hurt like this quote that we had from the multiplayer overview, which really didn't re come across as they made it feel like. The body of customization content that we have on day one ensures that there will be millions of customization combinations for Spartans on the battlefield. Coatings offer us a unique opportunity to craft some hyper-polished looks and let you express yourselves in ways you've never been able to before. For. So we're coming at this from a player first mentality. All of these rewards are single source, so you're never gonna be confused about where things come from. If you can unlock something in the battle pass, we're not gonna let any other players circumvent that by purchasing it out of the storefront. A lot of our stuff is unlocked through playing the game and only through playing the game. That last quote in particular is saying that a lot of stuff can only be unlocked through playing the game doesn't really feel that way. It feels like basic customization is available through the battle pass, which feels like it almost should be like part of what comes out out of the box initially. And the paid store items is really where the customization is really feeling like it's coming from. Like right now in the store, there is the Hazop armor set, which is a basic armor set that we had back in Halo Reach being sold as a bundle for 20 bucks where like your season right now, it's a Halo Reach themed season and you're charging people money for Reach armor. It just doesn't really make a lot of sense. And like you buy stuff in the store to feel more unique, to get more unique kind of content. And that's just not where it's happening right now with Halo Infinite. 
The content certainly doesn't feel to be there when it comes to the free to play players where this is like all the free items within the battle pass right now. You do get some coatings, you do get some armor customization, but it's really basic and really minimal. And you have 40 of these levels or challenge swaps out of 66 free tiers. And I understand having like some filler stuff like different kind of colors for AI, that totally makes sense, or like emblems and things like that. That's kind of like filler stuff that's like, you know, provide some value, but nothing too great. And you know, really people are looking forward to those coatings for those armor customizations and for free players you don't really get much because you get four visors five armor coatings three chest cover pieces one ai color one ai model left and right shoulder pad two helmets two helmet attachments and a wrist but you can see if you're a free-to-play player you're essentially going through the battle pass to unlock challenge swaps for the most part and you can see how those free-to-play players are earning 40 challenge swaps out of their 66 tiers and the reason why you use challenge swaps is to you know, swap, swap out your challenges so you can progress through the battle pass. But the reason why you're swapping out challenges is to get more challenge swaps. It's, it's a vicious cycle. Now, 343 did discuss this as well, saying that your free to play experience should be something more engaging, a little bit better content involved with that. Though we most likely won't see these changes coming until season two, which is going to be set for a May release and probably season three as well, which is projected to be roughly around August. There are some leaks and rumors that season one will get an additional 20 tiers because it's lasting so long. Uh, but you know, we'll wait until we get some concrete information about that. And one way to incentivize people to utilize their free currency is to, well, provide some more unique content within the store. I feel like standard reach armor, basic coatings like brown, which are currently in the store right now, don't really cut it when it comes to purchased customization. I feel like people would go to the store to buy things if it provided something that would really stand out beyond like what's basic customization, which should be in the battle pass, like the has up armor set that we have for, that's being sold for 20 bucks right now. Things like the golden eagle weapon attachment, that's a really cool, unique item. I actually bought that. I know I broke down. I shouldn't have, I'm a dirty, dirty shill. But it just looks so damn cool and it's like you can't find it anywhere else it's something we've never really had before in halo and i think that's something that provides some actual value the pineapple grenades i think are also a great addition where it provides like some unique customization we've never really had before in halo it's something you can kind of flex on people to show like hey let's check out my cool little thing i got uh, though i do believe like the cost it wasn't that great when it comes to the content value but i think that's the step in the right direction when it comes to store items i mean it almost kind of feels like 343 didn't have enough content for what should be in the store to compare to what should be in the battle pass and they kind of just pick and chose what they wanted to have in the store from the battle pass originally. But that's just how I feel about it. So if you have really great items within the store, giving players in-game currency would give them a chance to buy it, experience buying items, experience buying cosmetics within Halo Infinite. Again, like we mentioned, easing that pain of going from a out of the box experience that Jerry Hook said to a free to play model. And 343 did address this saying that they are reviewing their bundles and what actually provides value within these bundles as well. I'm sure they have the back end data to really make the proper choices moving forward. So ultimately guys, like if you want to see change, vote with your wallet if you think something's worth it go ahead and buy it if it's not worth it to you then don't buy it and ultimately it's just customization actually the purchased items versus not purchased items would probably provide more information to 343 of what they should create more of because a lot of people hear the term vote with your wallet as in don't spend any money which i'm not saying go out and spend money in the store only if you really want to. Ultimately, this is all just like digital content that has like perceived value to the individual. So I'm sure there's some people out there that thought has up armor set was totally worth the 20 bucks and they're happy with their purchase. Me, I wouldn't be, but that's just their experience. So hopefully after watching this video, guys, you get the understanding that why having in-game currency being earned through gameplay would be an absolute changing experience for Halo Infinite and its free to play model, getting the community up to speed when it comes to having a free to play model as well, and also helping retain players better. Nothing motivates people more than getting free money. So if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.